I'm Brian Anderson, and Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, B.A. Well, it's impressive. Well, you need that in the East, Allie. A lot of hard-nosed teams. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for the Bulls, Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Then there's Desumu, and it's the Beast in at the power forward position. A battle of two terrific front courts here. The rare night when guards take a back seat, Richard. Times have changed. Front courts used to dominate the game. I remember in the 90s when it was Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing. That's when the game was dominated by bigs. But then once spacing happened, now tonight it looks like an old 90s basketball game. And the Bulls start out with the ball. DeRozan with the ball. Pass to DeSumo. Knocked away. Fast break. Here we go. Goes up on the wing. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. DeRozan with the ball. Here's DeSumo. Here's the eraser. Oh, yes. Whoa. Throw it down. Oh. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Now, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. He shoots. No good. A bit long that time. About a minute into this first quarter. Pass to the eraser. From eight feet away. Good work there as it goes. And, De and DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Over to the left wing. On target from range. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Desumu. Here's the eraser. Six on the shot clock. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And the Bulls, that's a team that's built to win now. But boy, is the top of the Eastern Conference stacked. So looking at the East, where do you think Chicago slots in, RJ? Boston, Miami, Milwaukee, Philly. Each of those teams have MVP-level talents, and it's going to be a battle. I don't know who's going to come out on top. Now here's DeRozan. Pulls up at the elbow, and yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. This is where DeRozan makes his living. Such an excellent mid-range shooter. Defended by DeRozan, and looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Here's Desumu. Back to Levine. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Ball stolen. Good instincts to read the path and get in a position to pick it off. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. The Bulls have gone three of three so far from the floor. Pass to the eraser. Back to DeRozan. Six to shoot. DeRozan double-teamed. 
And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MLB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. A shot from the mid-range. The eraser grabs a board. Chicago trailing here. Nasumu on the wing. Floats one. And he lays it in. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Gets an open look and hits it. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Levine. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. DeRozan with the ball. Hachimura covering. They grab their own miss. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. That one drops. He ties it up. And a different kind of score. DeRozan attempted 741 mid-range jumpers last year. Almost 300 more than anyone else. Wide open look. Jump shot is good. He's got five. Coach is loving the ball movement. For Chicago, they've got six of eight shots to go. Minute 32 left in the first. Beyond the arc. Counted from distance. DeRozan's got eight. And Grant DeRozan, high volume from the mid-range and extremely accurate. You know, B.A., he consistently makes about half those shots. And defensively, you know that's his favorite area. But his ball handling and vertical negate anything you throw at him. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. For Chicago, they've gone 7 of 9, a solid percentage so far. Pass to Levine. Here's Desumu for three. Good, and it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. You look at the career of DeRozan. Here's a guy who has learned how to move the ball. Speaks to DeMar's commitment to getting better. Here's AI. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And the basket is good. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Chicago has gone two of two at the perimeter. DeRozan outside. Pass to the eraser. Here's DeSumo. To the wing on the left. And there's another one for the Bulls. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And they're able to recover. Drops in the three. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. What a performance for DeMar DeRozan. He's been the story for Chicago. Eight points in the quarter. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. Pass to Achimura. No good on the three. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. Levine passes to DeRozan. Outside for Levine. Fires top of the key. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Fires it. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Chicago leading. Pass to DeRozan. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Here's the eraser. 
10. He drops in the layup off the glass. He's got 10. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays, and his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Hachimura. And it's blocked! He keeps control of the ball! Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, some have said those old-school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. You see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. A great skill level in the game right now. No question. He hits the second from the line. Gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Here's the three. Rebound by the Bulls. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. To the inside. Snatched away. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for Chicago. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. The Bulls have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Levine for three. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. The three-pointer off the mark. The Bulls have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Step back shot. Boom, he jams it straight down. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Here's the eraser. Hachimura covering. The beast. Good. Six points for him. These are the shots coach wants them hunting down. Just the easy makes. Defended by DeRozan. Hachimura, right side. Here's Watanabe. Just five on the clock. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Dragic has checked in for Chicago. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. And he's going for the oop here. Up high and down it goes on the lob. And the veteran Dragic, excellent at sensing when one of his teammates is open to shoot. Here's Watanabe. He's got six. Let's the three fly. 
And it's Chicago with the board. During the 2021-22 season, DeMar DeRozan was amazing. Averaging over 27 points, 5 assists, and 5 rebounds. And he shot 50% from the field. The eraser. Great positioning on the putback. And the Bulls lead by 7. Great effort to turn the miss into 2 points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for 2. Having a career season at age 32. What DeRozan did is unprecedented, Richard. Yeah, and he made history by scoring at least 35 points on 50% shooting for eight straight games, passing up Wilt for the longest stretch that the NBA has ever seen. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Bulls have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Dragic outside. Pass to Levine. Back to Dragic. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Dragic has got his first bucket in this one. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. Shoots. The eraser grabs the board. The Bulls have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Outside Levine. Pass to DeRozan. Let's it go from the wing. It's deflected. He's covered by Levine. And yep, it's good. He's got nine. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. If they play this right, they can go two for one. Yeah, they really have to work the clock right now. Oh, they get a hand on it. Defended by DeRozan. Four three. Good to see it fall for him. Now three for nine. Chicago leading. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, and you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. First one falls for him. Good on both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. With the second effort, count that one. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. With one on the clock. And no good. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Bulls out in front. Up by turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Levine and DeRozan, the star-studded wings. Then there's Ayo Desumu, and it's the eraser in at the center position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. They get it back. The shot won't fall. Well, the Bulls shooting very well, 62% and going right at the defense. They get it back, Levine. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's the fearless nature of Levine's game that is so fun to watch. It is impressive watching him get in the paint and get calls. 
Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. No good on the second free throw. On the offensive end, Zach Levine plays with just such confidence. He knows that the team counts on him for production, so he goes out and he gets it. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Desumu. Pass to the Beast. To the left side wing. For the lead. Can't hit that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now Levine is certainly one of the more prolific scorers, Richard. Yeah, his shooting has put him in the top 20 scorers in this league in back-to-back -back seasons. With more on the way, I'm pretty sure. He makes it just look so easy, just effortless sometimes. It's just like he's doing his job. The three is up. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight, looking comfortable out there. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the officials. The quick look, no good that time. Chicago trailing here. Desumu on the wing. Pass to DeRozan. And he throws it down with one hand. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bet to nail the three. Pass to Desumu. Now here's DeRozan. 11 feet out. No good that time. Defended by DeRozan. Rebound by the Beast. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Here's the eraser. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And he drops the first. And so he hits both. Gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. He's covered by Levine. DeRozan with the rebound. The Bulls have gone only one for six here in the second half. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Achimura. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. And he makes a first. Chicago making some changes. White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Caruso in for DeSumo. Both free throws good for Achimura. For Chicago, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Back to Caruso. Pass to the Beast. 
And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Whoa, a drive like that is the kind of play that can shift the entire outcome of a close game like this one. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Knocks it loose. Here's the beast. 12 points for him. They now take the lead. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. The visitors with the ball. Here's Oni. He's guarded by Caruso. Shot is good by Oni. A minute 50 left to play in the third quarter here. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. Pass to White from behind the arc. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got three assists in the game. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. A minute 22 left in the third. That's tipped. And the bucket is good. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Chicago has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Caruso outside. And there's the lob. And here they come. Got a piece of it. DeRozan outside. Here's Achimura. And it's slammed in by Achimura. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. That's the last thing you need to happen down the stretch. Let's see how they respond to the devastating punch. DeRozan finds White. Gets the three ball to go. White's got six. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. Down low. Pass to Oni. Launches it. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team give it. Take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Pass to DeRozan. And here's the fast break. Man, good whistle there. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Chicago. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. Chicago has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Outside Levine. Back to Tsumu. Here's the eraser. Pass to Tsumu. Just five to shoot. Here's Levine for three. Kept alive. 
And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And the Bulls lead by three. DeRozan challenging the defense inside, gets the board and the bucket. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Oh, some solid D from DeRozan. Well, the Bulls shooting it well at 59%. Here's DeSumo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. And it's all from three-point range. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. And adding to this lead right now, riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Let's go with a three. Second chance effort. And rejected. On the wing, Levine. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. A springing athlete. Everybody knows about Levine and his bounce. He's just hard to check. And look, he was fouled right there. Both free throws good from Levine. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, over that break, I was able to catch the message that the visiting team coach was giving to his team. It wasn't feel good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. Oh, showing off the soft touch. Quality turnaround jumper there. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. DeRozan outside. Here's DeSumo. Here's Levine. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Levine's got four points in the quarter. Boy, Levine just glides off the bounce. He is very difficult to stay in front of. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. And the three off target. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. Fires for three. Sinks it from distance. And now a 12-point Chicago lead. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. And it's flushed down, a nice jam. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. And there's nothing more frustrating for a coach than seeing his team giving up a bunch of second-chance points. That's going to be the main topic during this timeout. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. Hey, these fans love him so much, and when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Pass to Achimura. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. Chicago's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Outside Levine. Here's Desumu. And here is DeRozan. Knocked loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's Chicago now. 
Five on the clock. And a great job by the D, contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Wing shot on the way. No good off the glass. Chicago has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Pass to DeSumo. Back to Levine. And Levine's combination of athleticism and shooting makes him dangerous. A multifaceted player with a strong work ethic. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Going 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Offensive rebound. Here's Watanabe. Deflected! Here's Desumu. Outside Levine. The three from DeRozan. Doesn't go that time. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bulls. The Bulls on offense. Outpacing them right now. A 15-2 run. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Bulls. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for the eraser. And he's been a well-oiled machine on offense, keeping things simple in this end, getting the looks that he wanted, knocking him down. Now here's Levine. DeRozan outside. Back to DeSumo. Four on the clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Levine. Hachimura with a rebound. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. <laughs> and the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that's...